So my name is Chris Bursick. I'm the manager for product safety standards at John Deere. So here today, our goal is to help share with the public what is it about our equipment and our technologies that allow us to help manage spray drift. My name is Connor Bergen. I'm a tactical marketing manager for application and seating and tillage equipment. At AGCO, we're meeting with officials from the Environmental Protection Agency here today to demonstrate, to educate, and to show them some of the things that we're doing that help reduce drift. My name's Mark Anderson from GBM Incorporated. We manufacture a line of sprayers. Behind us today is our Prowler 1800 gallon sprayer. It's an E325. I am John Baggett with Case IH. I am the sprayer product specialist for this region. What we're showcasing here today is PWM spraying. We're showcasing that here on our Scout demonstrator. Hello, my name is Brian Beck. I'm with TJ Technologies. Uh, we manufacture spray nozzles for all industries, but today we're focused on agricultural nozzles. My name's Ed Starzik. I'm with Hardy Incorporated. We're a worldwide manufacturer of sprayers, and over the past 50 years, we've dedicated our time to developing new technologies to help try to control drift and give better spray applications. My name is Roger Johnsonbaugh. I'm with uh, Helicopter Applicators. We provide aerial spray services with helicopters. We can make applications to field crops, row crops, as well as the forestry industry and several different types of herbic specialized herbicide applications. As we think about innovation, we always look to our customers and try to understand what are they needing. Um, a couple of the other technologies on this machine as an example is we have GPS guided systems. One of the other things that we have is also section control. The machine will automatically turn on and off those sections to help manage and make sure we're not applying product in areas that the operator doesn't want to apply them in. Some of the things that we're specifically highlighting here today, we're talking to them about chemical injection systems. So the ability to quickly and easily switch from product to product with very minimal clean out, it's very efficient, clean, safe process, and, and that, that assists in reducing drift and overall protection of, of our crops. Today, most sprayers that we manufacture have all the technology on them. They have auto steer on them, they have auto boom, which controls your height through your boom, they have acuboom shutoffs on them, so most of the products today are getting those standard items. We're able to hold constant pressure independent of our speed or application rate. So what that does is we're able to maintain a specific droplet size throughout our entire application. So from the moment we're taking off to the moment we're stopping, we're applying the accurate droplet size for that application. We've focused on many technologies used in order to reduce drift. We've developed additional pre-orifice, turbulence orifice, as well as air inducted nozzles in order to achieve this. At Hardy, we develop our own nozzles, whether it be conventional flat fan nozzle, air induction style nozzles, specialty nozzles for use in agriculture to help minimize drift, but also give adequate spray deposit on that target application. The setup that we have here today is a herbicide spray boom with a fairly specialized nozzle. It's, it's called an AccuFlow nozzle and it's, it has a very specific, very well controlled droplet size spectrum and we use that a lot on our specialized herbicide applications. That particular nozzle produces a droplet that has very little or in the right conditions almost no spray drift so we can make a very precise edge on, on our application. And also with a large portion of our customer segments being retailers, there's already a, a large amount of self-regulating going on within the industry because ultimately retailers' livelihoods depends on their ability to go out and safely and accurately apply products. So already a lot of innovations and, and uh, things going on within our business that help self-regulate.